Good morning, Rogers Park. Please join me and my friend Nemo in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledging allegiance to the flag and the United States of America and to the Republic for in just stands one nation under God and invisible and liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Nemo. Today, everyone, is Monday. It's June 7th. We are starting a B week. And remember, we have a early release today at 11 o'clock. Your classes are up here on the screen. There are three. No eighth grade, you only have one elective class. It's your 87B. Your classes are all about an hour long. And we dismiss at 11 o'clock. It's also updated in PowerSchool. Please be sure you're checking that Danbury Public School email. There's lots of information coming out this time of year. I don't want you to miss anything. Also, actively engage in all of your classes. Estudiantes, por favor, lee sus mensajes de correo electrónico de DPS, pero la información es muy importante. Participar activamente en clase. Y haz tu trabajo. Use estudiantes, por favor. Lee a sus emails, hace envolver activamente en sala de aula y fuse trabaja. On June 7, 1909, Virginia Apgar was born. She was an American physician, anesthesiologist, and medical researcher. She developed the Apgar score system, which is still used today to evaluate newborn babies and assess their well-being. Thanks for pausing for our moment of science. Eighth graders, you're outside for PE today. Please be sure you're meeting your teachers outside the auditorium. Garden session and the farm stand are canceled today due to our early release. If you checked out a media center book, please return it today. Summer school students, please fill out the form that was in the letter that I emailed you. Also, there is in-person ELP sign up on Tuesday from 4 to 530 right here at Rogers Park. Several students this year have created a group called the RPMS Time Capsule Project of 2020 to 2021. Our idea was to bury a time capsule to store our memories of this past year and the pandemic. This past year was a unique experience and we want you teachers and students to help us make this possible by giving us your personal reflections of that happened in 2020 and 2021. The students and teachers in the future will get to see how we survived this crazy year and get a primary perspective of what it was like during this pandemic. We are storing artifacts, pictures, different types of masks, people's experiences, and so much more. Please check Dr. Zalita's morning announcement email for the Google form link or open up your phone's camera and scan the QR code provided to help us create this time capsule. Thank you for participating. A time capsule is a container filled with items that you can bury in the ground and later archaeologists, anthropologists, and historians can dig it up and get a snapshot of life at a particular time. Time Castle is a store of two which stores artifacts that are important to us today and then, buried, and then is buried for many years. As time goes by, these items are reserved for, men, for people in the future who will see what our lives were like today. Our goal is to store items and perspectives of the year 2020 to 2021 in a time capsule. So later we can open it and reflect on them in 20, 2041, 20 years from now. For this project, we'll need as much help as possible. We would like to put as many different perspectives into our Rogers Park time capsule as we can, and we would like you, our PMS students, to help us with that. Do you want to be a part of history? Here's how you can contribute. There are four ways that you can submit artifacts into the time capsule. We will be accepting photographs. If you have any pictures on your phone or anywhere else that show how we have been impacted by the pandemic, like people socially distancing, students and roommates, social distancing signs, and empty shelves at the grocery stores, posts that have happened, etc., please send them to us for the time capsule. We will also be accepting personal experiences. You can also write about your personal experience and how you were impacted by the pandemic and how your life changed so people in the future know what we went through. You could write a prediction of what you think the world would be like in 2041. In 2041, when future students open the time capsule, they will see if any of our predictions came true. If you'd also like to submit any artwork, including paintings, drawings, or a poem that describes your life in quarantine or isolation and this trying time, and you think that you would want it in the time capsule, please fill out the Google form attached to the slideshow. Once again, if you would like to participate, please fill out the Google form sent to you in the email with Dr. Zalita's morning announcements or scan the QR code. 
We're excited to see what everyone comes up with, and if you have any questions, email Mr. Hator with the email on the screen. And that's it for this steaming hot Monday, Roger Spark. We miss you, stay safe and hydrated, and do your work! Mm-hmm.